<laughs> um, that has never happened. Oh my god, get some clothes on! Hey everyone, Jembug here, and welcome back to my channel for part four of the Sims 3 Complete Collection Challenge, which if you are not familiar, is a huge 40 plus generation challenge where we play through the complete collection of the Sims 3. Uh, we are in generation one with Maritza, who last episode unintentionally ended up cheating, which may or may not have been my fault for not remembering the romantic system mechanics of the Sims 3. Anyways, we need to buckle down and choose who Maritza is going to stay romantically involved with, and hopefully things start turning out better in her love life. <laughs> Anyways, grab yourself a cup of coffee or something to sip on, and let's get started. So Maritza is waking up now, and she has <laughs> she's got four days off. She has really, what was it? She's... Level nine in the culinary career. <laughs> um, girl, yeah, she, she's she been hitting it out of the ballpark with uh, her career. But as we all know, her love life is a bit of a mess right now. Um, I am leaning towards George. She does want to go on a date with him. Though George is the one that came up and said that she uh, was cheating. Which... She wasn't, she wasn't messing around with Rain or anything. It's just she didn't actually break things off with Rainer. So, um, yeah. But anyways, as we can see here, Rainer is a perfectionist, per perfectionist, uh, a mooch, and a natural cook, which is what they have in common. Um, he's Sagittarius, which they are. Ooh, she wants to prepare. Oh, prepare that. Um. Sagittarius is compatible with her sign, which is a Libra. George, on the other hand, he is a Virgo, which I don't believe those are compatible, but I'm liking his traits a lot more. He's athletic, friendly, brave, and friendly or friendly, <laughs> family oriented, which I really like that. Uh, we have 11 days until Maritza ages up. We need to get going. On this unfortunately I think George is currently at work so there's nothing we can really do about that um, so let's go ahead and head to the bookstore and see if we can't buy some recipes because that is one of the main let me pull out well oh, my little checklist <laughs> um, she needs to complete the culinary librarian lifetime wish so we need to kind of get cracking on that all right, it is a nice day out here in town, so we're just gonna have her read these um <clears throat> read these uh, recipes. Sleep door what? What? Uh, 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 hey, hey! What are you doing? Google. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maritza. Apparently, she's... Oh, my gosh. We already already got a repair relationship with George because he's accused you of cheating. And now you are literally going around and flirting with some random guy named Einstein. He doesn't even like children, so that is not even a possibility. And I don't want to start from the bottom again. I don't... You, I, it's like I need to send her home. You know, go home right now. Go home. You cannot be trusted, Maritza. Not right now. No. <laughs> okay. Whew. We are safe at home. <laughs> There's nobody here that she can just randomly flirt with. And we're just going to work on learning these <laughs> recipes. All right. She has learned that recipe. And, ooh, girl, you need to go potty. Need to go potty. Uh, that is the mother in me. Or actually, I've, I've called it potty, like, my entire life because... <laughs> First of all, I was a child at one point, you know. I mean, yeah, totally shocker, right? Uh, but then I've worked with kids pretty much my entire adult life. So it's not something I've grown out of. It is it is potty. <laughs> I 
Anyways, it is five o'clock. George, I think, is probably home now, so we're gonna invite him over. We're not gonna go straight for a date because I don't know if he would actually accept it. And he has stood us up once before, so um, I'm not ready for that heartbreak again. Just not. Okay, he's saying he will come over. <gasps> no! <laughs> Why, George? Why? Oh my god, I'm so sad. Oh, oh it's not fair. I was working at it. Oh, you were at work, it couldn't do anything. Oh, okay, well, we want to become friends again. This is not cool. Maritza is not lucky in her love life. Like, not at all. This sucks. This sucks so much. <laughs> okay, at least they're friends again. <sighs> it's just very, very upsetting. <laughs> and just like that, they are on a date. They're not quite romantic yet, but we're, we're, we'll get there. We should probably head inside, though. It's a little dark outside. Can we just go in here real quick? Come in here. I'm in here. We're not. Okay. Okay. It is a new day. Um, the date went okay. It wasn't too, um, wasn't anything too crazy. Um, yeah, they just, you know, romantic stuff and all. Uh, but I do learn from my mistakes. So while George is at work, we are going to invite Rainer over and we are going to... Um, after we fix the toilet, we are going to, uh, ask to just be friends. Oh my god. Okay. Everything's breaking in this house. Okay, Rainer is here. Now. I'm not gonna confess to cheating. How can I... Oh, okay. So, it's in the mean interactions, but we are going to... Ask Rainer to just be friends. I know, it's, it's heartbreaking. I'm so sorry. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's over-emotional! Okay! Um, I'm sorry, but just, you're not the one. Okay, let's just... I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go. That was a little intense. Okay. All right. We are going to go ahead and ask George on a date now. And since we have cut it off <laughs> with Rainer, uh, hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead to the restaurant. Where is George? George. Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay. Thinking of leaving soon. What? We just started the movie. Dude, come on. I paid in everything, okay? <laughs> All she wants to do is go on dates with him. She doesn't want to actually, like, ask him to go steady or whatever. It's kind of, kind of frustrating. She just completed her lifetime wish. <laughs> wow. I don't think... Like, this hasn't happened very often for me. That is crazy. I'm kind of, like, super excited. <laughs> like, I'm kind of, like, speechless a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she completed one of the challenges. So we can officially check off one of the requirements for Generation 1. Uh, complete the Culinary Library and Lifetime Wish. We are halfway to completing the two skill challenges. I think, uh, I mean, preparing 50 meals, which she's already done 35. Uh, I think she's going to get that, you know, sooner, sooner or later. So that's not something that we need to uh, really worry about. So um, we really just need to work on collectively making 10 friends and... 
uh, throwing at least one great party. And of course, you know, we need an heir. So <laughs> that's probably going to be the hardest one to do. Uh, that is really, really cool. Well, I think we can go ahead and get her dirt defiant because that'll be really nice for her. <laughs> and a speedy cleaner. Yeah, we're just going on a shopping spree right now with lifetime rewards. Um, legendary host. Would that be cheating? I don't know. We'll try one more time. I mean, we did earn the lifetime rewards fair and square. Uh, but we'll try one more time before that. And see if we can't do it without any of that help. We'll uh, save some of the rest, though. Uh, that's exciting, though. <laughs> I totally thought, like, I had more. Because actually, I do think there's more recipes to learn. Yeah, there's more recipes to learn. Um, but that, yeah, I finished it. That's exciting. Get over here, D or Dean. Get over here, George. <laughs> We're going to celebrate. <laughs> so... We have to get this ball rolling. Unfortunately, she has not rolled a wish to go steady, but I mean, but we have eight days until she ages up. She needs to go steady, get engaged, get married, have a child in eight days, which I know it's the Sims. That's, you know, totally doable, but. I don't know. I'm just bummed because I was really hoping she'd roll that uh want. Giggity. Did he? There's no way for me to like replay that right now, but it sounded like he said giggity. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe I'm just hearing things, but I swear that sounded like he said giggity. I'm going to have to like... Definitely pay attention when I'm editing this. That is, that's funny though. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna have to do it. We're gonna propose going steady right now because. There we go. Okay. And now she wants to make out with him again. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we're gonna end the date here. I do want to get him moved in, but. <laughs> Let's give it, let's give it a, a day, at least, you know. <gasps> um. That has never happened. Oh my god, get some clothes on! I don't care what you get on, just get something on! Oh my god. Scarred. Oh my god. Take take a shower. <gasps> she legit just like went to work naked the entire time. That has never happened before. <laughs> and like I'm kind of traumatized now. That is uh I just, I don't even, I, I don't know. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Oh, finally, she's got something. Oh, oh, finally, some, some just verification that, yes, we are going, we've chosen the right person. We are going down the right path. Oh my gosh. I mean, it would have been a lot easier if you could have just, you know, rolled a want to ask him to go steady, but. Yeah, I'll take this too. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna invite him over. I'm gonna propose marriage, and then I'm gonna get him to move in, like right now. Cause, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I would have her call out of work, but it's her last day before the four days off. So, uh, you know, that's just. She she can go to work, but you know that's super exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, and you know she very well might get a promotion. Anyways, just like invite him over right now, right right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's so exciting. 
No thanks. I'm about to propose to my soulmate. <laughs> hey. We're just gonna kiss and flirt and compliment appearance. You look good in that uniform, sir. And just all the things, okay? <laughs> so excited. Oh. Okay, let's let's do it. I do. Check with that. And go see. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'm as I'm as excited as you are, George. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> oh, that's oh so exciting. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, and let's just you know make out for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now she's asking him to move in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh no, though. He wants to be surrounded by family. Oh gosh, he's got four days. And he's good. Is that the missing one? Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, um, you can go ahead to work now. <laughs> we got that done. He has been... Promoted to five star chef. Uh, she gets a bonus of 2412. And she makes 350 simoleons per hour, works from three to seven. And she still works three days. Okay. Things are finally looking up. Finally. <laughs> All right. So this is something that I am going to have to do because, um, was it Marissa has four days before she ages up? Um, they're gonna have to try for baby, and we'll do a wedding. I don't know. I want to throw a wedding party because we do have to do the party, but we're just gonna try for baby because we need to get that going. <laughs> Does not sound like it happened. Um, there it is. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh. All right. Um. And now we're getting our ducks in a row. Oh, his favorite color is green. I didn't even look. And cheesesteak. Okay. That was like one of the last recipes she learned. It was meant to be. <laughs> um. We are going to um move within this neighborhood. We're moving. Bye, house. Bye, bye. Okay, here we go. It's a cute little house. It came with furniture, a nice little outdoor area. Very nice. Very nice. It's actually very cute. So not only does he want to get married, he also wants to marry Maritza. So I think it's time for us to get on with that. Someone has morning sickness. <laughs> All right, she's about to vomit again, but I switched out their bed. I did like the comforter that came with this house, so uh, I kept it. Just added another one of these, and I did a little setup for a wedding, so. Um, as Actually, I might just go ahead and plan it, throw a party for 6 o'clock. We're going to do a wedding party at... Six o'clock, formal attire, obviously. I'm gonna get all the friends here. Definitely the boss and you. It's gonna be quite a few people. He wants to have a great party. He wants to serve home cooked meal at party. I don't know if we're going to do that. Oh. Okay, they are all dressed for a wedding. Um, why don't you take a nap because you are tired? And I'm just hoping this turns out well. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and get get married right away. Dang it! <laughs> I was trying to beat that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. 
<laughs> Jeez, that's loud in my ears. She did it, guys. She finally got married. Oh, and of course, like clockwork, he wants to have a child. Oh. Okay. Ooh. He wants a boy. Hmm. Interesting. She also wants to eat pancakes. <laughs> um, excuse me, Mr. Lotharia. What are you doing here? Modest success. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off. Um, I feel pretty accomplished. <laughs> um, it took quite a while and I mean, she's aging up in two days. That child is gonna, I mean, his or her parents are definitely gonna be, <laughs> they're gonna be mis mistaken for their grandparents, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, it kind of came. It just kind of, you know, took a little bit longer than normal. Anyways, uh, like I said, I'm feeling very good about this episode. I'm so happy that Maritza is finally married. She's got a baby on the way, which is so good. Um, so next episode, we're going to see that baby be born. We're going to, um. We're going to see if it's a baby boy or a baby girl. I'm not going to influence it by eating any of the, um, any of the stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're just going to see how this little baby comes out. And, um, I'm super excited for that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, leave any comments or suggestions down below. I will always answer them <laughs> uh, and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye-bye.